hi guys welcome and welcome back again to dami dimensions channel today's video is going to be about how i made this really beautiful skirt with a really unique band if you're interested in seeing how i made this skirt definitely keep on watching and if you're yet to be subscribed to my channel consider subscribing because i share a lot of sewing tutorials and pattern drafting like this so without further ado let's jump right to the work table so here is the fabric that i'm going to be working with and as you can see i already cut out a straight rectangular piece which i'm going to be explaining so i'm working with a length of 12 inches but i measured out 13 and half because i added one inch to the down part so i can use that to hem the down part and i also added extra half inch to the upper part to join the upper part with the band okay so that in total gave me 13 and half inches but the length of the skirt is going to be 12 inches by the time i am done okay and for the width of my fabric i took the waist circumference that i'm working with and i multiplied that by four and that is what i used to cut out this really long rectangular piece okay but my piece is in two equal parts right now so i'm taking one of it folding it into two and slashing it into two like this this is because I want to create an opening for my center back. All right, so now I'm grabbing the second um, rectangular piece and I am going to place this one that I just cut on top of it, right sides facing each other and I'm going to join on the two sides by half inch like so, okay? And once you're done doing that, we now have that really long piece, which I have right here, as you can see. All right, and as for my lining, I cut out it the same exact way. The only difference was that the length is two inches shorter than the length of my main fabric, as you can see. And for the width, it is my waist circumference multiplied by two, while the main fabric is waist circumference multiplied by four, right? So I'm setting that aside for now and bringing back my main fabric. Okay, so now I'm going to go to my machine and hem the down part. So just fold it twice like so and hem it all the way through the entire length. And for the upper part, I'm going to be running a uh, loose stitch. Don't worry, I'm going to be showing you how to do that in case you don't know how to do it. Okay, so now on my machine, this is how to set it. You have your machine and here is the loosest stitch okay so i'm going to set it to the loosest loosest stitch which is four and here i have to make sure it's at a straight stitch all right and now i can begin to stitch so just note that you shouldn't back stitch at the beginning and also at the end but you can back stitch at the end if you want but make sure at one of either the beginning or the end you do not back stitch but for me i left both ends loose so one more thing i like to do is to run another line of stitch this is just to ensure extra stability to my gathers when i make it and this is what my two lines of stitches look like you can see they are really close to each other so now we can start to make the gathers. I'm showing you all these details because of the beginners that may be watching this video. So guys, give me a thumbs up for that. <laughs> all right. So now I'm going to show you how to do it. You know that a, a, a roll of stitch usually have two threads coming out of it. So you have to pick one of those threads. So I'm picking one of the thread and on my second stitch as well, I'm picking one of it and then you are going to start use uh pulling the gathers but do not pull that thread you are holding on to you just have to hold it with your hand and then use the second hand to move the fabric and then you're just going to see the um gathers forming it's that simple actually there are gathering foods that you can just snap on your machine and can do this for you but i'm just showing you this in case you don't have one okay so I did it from one side and I also continue to do it from the other side so they can meet at the middle. So I'm just going to keep on doing the exact same thing. And like I said, do not pull your fabric. That's when you have your fabric breaking off. Okay. If you pull it, it's going to break off. So just hold on to it with one hand and use the second hand to move the fabric as they form the gathers along. It's very simple actually. And because I used... Uh, two rows of thread it's just going to let the gathers look more put together and if you have um if you accidentally cut one of your thread you're going to have the second one to work with all right so now i'm done 
gathering and I'm just checking to see if it's equal to my waist circumference. It's a little bit too small. That means I gathered it too much. So I'm just going to go ahead and loosen it out. And if you gathered less, then you can pull your gathers more to achieve your waist circumference. So now I'm checking again and I left about one inch here on gathered just for my um, zipper allowance or sewing allowance okay so now i checked and everything seems fine i have my 20 inches which is the waist circumference i'm working with with extra sewing allowance so now go ahead and tie this thread together just to make sure that your gathers doesn't come out um doesn't unravel basically all right so now i'm gonna take it to my sewing ma machine and run a zigzag stitch on the gathers and this is just meant to keep it in place so it doesn't um reduce or increase in my waist circumference all right so back to my lining i'm going to do the same thing run a gather stitch and pull the gathers and i'll have to make sure that it's equal to the waist circumference that i have on my main fabric all right and then i'm also going to hem the down part all along and once that was done this is what i have you can see the gather stitch that i told you about and now it's very intact it's not going to change in size all right so now i was done doing my gathers on the lining and then i will check to see if the two waists are equal right now it's okay so i will place them right side facing each other so i can join but I'm going to be joining along this line first. So I'm going to be aligning that line and then I will join by quarter of an inch up to that point. And I will repeat the same thing to the lining as well, join by quarter inch, okay? So now that that was done, this is what I have. The side has been joined and here is still open. So I'm going to flip it now to the right side and then I'm going to combine both of them along the waist line. All right, so I simply joined by half of an inch along the waistline. All right, so once that was done, this is what I have. You can see it's coming out already. And now it's time to join along this part, but we are going to do that from the inside, okay? This guy is not going to be having a zipper, okay? So just stick around to the end to see how it's going to turn out. All right, so... Uh, the intention is to join this line and this line together, but we have to do it from the inside. But then we have to determine how much opening we are going to be leaving for the girl to be able to get into the skirt, obviously. So I'm uh, marking a point of four inches. By the time I'm done with everything, it's going to be three and a half by the time we join the band, all right? So I'm just noting that point with my pen. And from that point right now, from the inside obviously i'm going to stitch from that point all the way down like so okay so now i'm on my machine i'm just trying to show you what i'm talking about i'm stitching from the down all the way to that point and as i'm stitching i'm trying to match the seam to make sure that everything aligns nicely okay so do your back stitch once you're done and I have something that looks like this inside and outside is looking clean as always. <laughs> All right. So I'm just turning it to the wrong side to show you what it looks like. And now it's time to draft the belt, the stylish belt. <laughs> All right. So let me just make a quick sketch, uh, a sketch so you can understand how the belt is going to be. So it looks something like this and here is going to be unfold and from here to here is going to be the waist circumference while the rest is going to be the extension and that's extension for tying the bow and this part has to be your exact waist circumference and here can be as long as you want it okay so i'm using this fabric and first i'm going to be folding it like this as you can see i folded it a little bit at the top all right and you have to make sure that this end right here is equal to whatever you want this part to be so i want this part to be four inches so i'm going to make sure that that part is four inches plus half inch for the joining of the band okay so i'm going to make it 4.5 now so i'll measure 4.5 and make sure i have that when i fold on both sides all right 
and once i was done then i'm going to also fold it like this again so now it's folded into four all right folded vertically into two and horizontally into two making into four okay so right here is where i have the four edges and that's where i'm going to start taking my measurement and i'll take that four and uh, 0.5 there and from here i'm going to take my waist circumference inward this is the part that i have fold so that part is on fold okay so from there take your waist circumference divided by two inward because the fabric is folded into two horizontally all right so take here i'm going to be taking 1.5 inch this is because i want my band to be one inch once i'm done and i also need half inch to join the band all right i'm also going to take that same 1.5 inch here and the reason for that is so i can have my waistband straight so i'm going to connect this point to this point like so and from this point i will connect here and it's going to be diagonal all right so then you should make sure here is smooth and then you can go ahead and cut after cutting this is what i have as you can see and because i don't want here to be just this boring i'm going to make it diagonal also and i'm going to cut out that part okay so the bow can come out really cute so once i was done i have something that looks like this and now it's looking more like what we sketched right okay so now i'm just putting both of them together and notching the center point just for reference purpose and then i am now going to start stitching okay so you remember this point that we made when we were sketching let me just try to make that point more prominent so you guys can see so i'm going to fold from the midpoint now so i can duplicate that point also on the other side you know because that point marks half of our waist measurement so i need to find the full waist circumference so now i have the two points as you can see so from this point now i'm going to join from this point all the way like this and like this by half inch and i'm also going to do the same on the other side all right so let me just make this one uh, clearer so from that point i would join like this as well all the way like this by half inch all right so now i am done doing the stitches and this is what i have you can see that this part is opened right now and now i'm meant to turn it to the right side but before i do that i'm just going to notch all the corners so everything comes out flat once i'm done turning to the right side okay so go ahead and turn to the right side and also turn the other side as well and then go and give it a really good press once i was done pressing this is what i came up with you can see it's looking really flat the edges are sharp and it's nice and as you can see this part i also folded my half half inches in and i pressed it with my iron just like a bias kind of okay so the next thing to do is to bring in your skirt and you are going to be matching that midpoint that we uh, notched the other time. You are going to combine it with the midpoint of the skirt. So go ahead and find the midpoint of your skirt and match those two points together and, and then you pin them. Take note that I'm opening that half inch that I folded in as I go. So go ahead and pin it both um, along the waistline like so and if everything works nicely your waistline should end where we stopped stitching the waist of the band from i don't know if you understand what i mean but you can see that from what i'm trying to show you so now that i am done pinning all around this is what i have and just to show you closely you see what i did and now i'm going to take it to my machine and i'm going to stitch along that crease making sure that this stitches falls inside okay so once i was done doing that i have something that looks this clean this is what you should achieve right so the next thing to do is to flip that part down now so just flip it in and make sure you tuck this end properly in so your work comes out looking clean so tuck it in like so and then you can use your paint to secure it down so that it's easier to work with okay so just go ahead and do that all the way along the waistline 
and as you can see now i'm not opening this um fold i'm just placing the fold right on top of the skirt and yeah i just did that all around the waist and then i'm going to take it to my sewing machine and i'm going to do a stitch in the ditch if you watch my video you know i do this a lot it just makes my work come out as clean as i want so that's why i love it so what you want to do is to place your stitch right in between the band and the skirt where that where the stitches meet okay so as you're doing it it should be catching this one underneath and everything is just going to come out really nice and clean at the end yeah, so I'm just showing you the finished result of this skirt. You can see how beautiful it turned out to be. Try to do this yourself. It's very easy. It's really, really simple as you can see. And if you've learned something so far in this video or you just enjoyed my voice for some reasons, leave this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And let's meet again in my next video. Bye-bye.